Hey everyone, Averpaw here, and today we're going to be playing Silent Nights. This is developed by Just Tom Cook, and you can find it over at Itch.io. I have a link in the description, you know, check it out. In this game, we go visit our grandmother to help take care of her. So, why don't we go do that? Just Tom Cook presents. Ooh. Nice little cinema, uh, cinema, I can't talk, I'm still so tired, oh my god. <laughs> Cinematic, there we go. My grandfather died two years ago. Grandmother had never been very sad ever, oh, grandmother has been very sad ever since. So I went to the village to visit her. Oh, we gotta go to the village. I like being in the city. Wow, these roads don't look like they were taken care of very good. Must be a small village. Grandma, I'm here. Grandmumsy, where are you? Uh, Grandma? You okay? Long nails you have. Silent Nights. It almost seems like with a title like that, it would be a Christmas game, doesn't it? I can. Grandma's house. As a child, I often came here for the weekend. We kind of have a sprint. Grandma? Locked. I heard a note. Uh, my grandparents always had a spare key. It was hidden under a small rock somewhere in the backyard. In the backyard? Ay, ay, ay. They just had the key in the front yard somewhere. No one would notice while it was overgrown. Rock? Nope, not you. Oh my god, there's rocks everywhere. Oh, <laughs> it's oh yeah, rock noticeable, not hiding. Oh, never mind. Eh. This rock? This rock? Oh, there's a key. It's actually not even hiding. Here it is. What in the hell is that? Weird. Right mouse button to use. What do we got over here? Knife. Ooh, that would be good for self-defense. Are we going to need this? Nope. Do I have a flashlight? No. Back to the front. <coughs> hey, there's another house. Couple houses. Yeah, all right. <laughs> and I thought this would be the only house on the road. I wonder. Is Grandma looking through a window at us? <clears throat> Not that I can see. And in we go. A note for Grandma. Why is Grandma leaving me notes? Ooh, lighter. Grandpa's lighter can be useful. Let's see. This is Grandpa's lighter. He loved this lighter and always carried it with him. He always said he wanted to give it to you, Tom. Well, thank you. Take lighter to hands. Alright. Guess we can we light the candle? Yeah, we did. I don't know why we would. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. Okay, there's no, like, uh, fuel level or anything like that, is there? I'm not going to have to start collecting some to keep this thing going. I need to take off my backpack. It is very heavy. Okay. It did. That's better. 
Yeah, who wants to carry a heavy backpack? We're 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 in the house now. See, there's something going on. Nothing changed here, and the smell takes me back to my childhood. Like I hear writing. I can't open that. All right, just says look around the house. Can't unlock that. I don't remember this door ever being open. I guess that's, uh, I don't have to worry about it then. Bathroom and toilet in one room. Very thoughtful and convenient. Like, lots of bathrooms? <laughs> I mean, okay. Get some light on in all these rooms. I don't know if that's what we're supposed to be doing, but that's what we're going to do. That doesn't look like there's any electricity. None of the other lights are on. Wow, kitchen is a bit of a mess. Just the kitchen is a mess. Well, it's a mess. I should clean up the kitchen before Grandma gets back. She will be glad. He's already here. I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't touch the button. What in the... Mm. Jam. Trash can. There we go. Can't pick this up? Oh, uh, okay, I do it automatically. Is that trash? No, that's plastic silverware. Ah, candle. There we go. Hey! It's a little chef bobblehead. That's cool. Very cool. All right. I don't know why stupid little things like that excite me. Even the table is in the same place as many years ago. I remember writing a school essay on how I spent my summer here. I wrote about fishing and picking mushrooms with grandma and helped. I remember our walks in the great outdoors and spending cozy evenings with my grandparents reading books. They even helped me with this essay. What's that? Lady night. So many candles. <laughs> Ooh, what used to be here? An old aquarium. When I was little, there was lots of fish in it. They say that watching fish swim calms you down. And it's true. I guess. I had fish. I used to have lots of fish when I was a kid. That's because my parents never wanted me to have anything else. <laughs> but then I was able to upgrade. I managed to get like a hamster. That was pretty cool. I like that. And then finally they let me have a cat. Now my wife gets rid of every animal I have. Says we can't have any more pets. Grandfather's TV. He loved watching it. Sometimes he would fall asleep on the couch... Watching his favorite show. Grandmother was always very angry with him. And she would wake him up in the... I can't even read it. Hey, we have electricity after all. Hey! Why don't the lights turn on? There we go. Another candle. Yeah, I'll wait to go up there. What was... I can't... Grandmother's room. I can't imagine how cold and sad she must feel sleeping here all alone. Now that grandfather is gone. I heard like a breathing sound. Oh, I thought there was a flashlight on the bed. I don't need light during the day. What? What? Not like the light turns on anyway. Oh, here we go. We read it now. Lady night. Free cocktails, karaoke, Joe's place at 10.30. Maybe she's in there. Okay, we got one more room, and then the attic. I don't want to go up in the attic.
Grandma. Hmm. The guest room. I already slept in this room when I came over. Makes sense. Where is Grandma? Alright, we've lit every candle. I don't know if that helpful or not. The old fireplace. As a child, I used to love sitting here reading books while it was raining outside. Hmm. All right. Allowed to the attic. As a child, I liked hiding there. But growing up, I would come to visit less often. Visit less and less often. So my grandparents started telling, started storing all sorts of rubbish. I hear creaky, creaky floorboards. Uh, are they coming from up here? Wow. These are the soda cans that. I wonder what's in those boxes. Probably grandfather's stuff. Grandma brought them up here herself? God, Lady of Steel. Handle. Alright, that's just a bench. One more candle. Grandma's old tools and other stuff. How come they're not outside? Huh, these are the cans he was talking about, which... Message left really fast. I could barely even just, like get to read it. Guess we're done. Um, we lit everything. Keep looking around the house. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll do that. Sure thing. Wait, I didn't turn that on. Turn that off. This isn't right. I didn't check the... Oh, nothing on the alarm. Nothing with the beds. I guess go back downstairs. Seems to be going on. I'm a little tired. I need to rest and wait for my grandmother to return. I think the sofa on the ground floor looks perfect. Kind of small. <laughs> hey, come this is out. What the heck? What is that? What's what? Nah, yeah, turn that off. <laughs> I don't like that. Um. Yeah, that's okay. It's so dark. Where's the electricity? It raining out? Okay. Uh, I guess it's raining. We're very foggy. Something's not going on out there. Like, this isn't creepy at all. Grandma's still not home. What's going on? Hey, we got light now. Woo! Woo! Fuck the dark. Oh. I guess it doesn't work for all rooms. <laughs> okay. Yeah! Power! I love it! I can see! Well, there's light coming from over there. Hello? Grandma? 
looking around. Want watching TV? No. We should light all the candles just in case we lose power. Old houses like this, you never know. Oh, it's locked. Why would the guest room be locked up? Turn that off. What the? Where's the sound coming from? I know where it's coming from. And I don't want to go. I think it's coming from up there. Granny? Are you back? I don't like the shadows in here. Oh, okay, that's better. <laughs> Woo wee. Nah, grandma's not. Oh, wait right here. Was that always on the bed? I hear that breathing sound again. Handle. Nope. Yeah, nope. I cannot sleep without you. When I lie down in bed, I check to see if you are next to me. Maybe you're lying and reading your favorite book. But when I put my hand where you used to sleep, I understand that you are no longer next to me. Then I start to cry, and I howl and I can't stop. So what the in, blah, 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 blah. in such moments, I go out for a walk and look at the moon because it reminds me of you and our evening walks. I miss you so much. Oh, oh. Oh, my God, Grandma. Had I only known you were so sad. Okay, evening walk should be good for you. It's raining so hard there. I hope you are on your way home. I hear that noise again. Okay, while well, I'm waiting, I'll go grab something to eat. Eat something. But I didn't go in the attic yet. No, I need to go in the attic. I don't want to be in the attic. Huh, I thought she would have been up here hiding. I can hear breathing. I mean, that's the wind. There we go. It's coming along. I need to be frightened. We got lights. Is with us? It on? Can't get into the guest room. I figured that's where we would be sleeping in the guest room. Oh, well, we've managed to get locked out. And peaches and cereal. That's what I need. When Grandma comes back, I'll ask her to make pancakes for me. What? Dude, you're how old? Why would you ask your grandma to do it? She's sad. Being all on her own. What would you do that for? What the? No. Hey, no. How'd that get there? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. What's that noise? Spring? We love to dance. God, how much we love to dance. I remember the first time you asked me to dance. Our favorite song was playing. The song we later chose to dance at our wedding. I so badly want to dance with you just one more time. I want to hug you and for you to hug me. I want to lay my head on your chest again. I want to feel your scent and your touch, my love. I want to eat. My stomach is growling. And peaches and cereal. Great. Meh. 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 I hear you. No, you don't. Nope, nope. Must be the TV. No. <gasps> Upstairs TV. Eat something. Well, I'm trying. Eat something, it says. I can't. Is there anything else over here? Do I need a spoon? Even make a spork work. Wine? I'll drink the wine. 
I don't think they quite understand how this works. See, when you want to eat, you put the food in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like I'm not eating. Okay. But you know what? The TV's blaring. I gotta turn it off. Too loud. Uh-oh. Creepy music. I can't go downstairs. Why? Why can I not go downstairs? Eat something. It still tells me to eat something. Do I need to... Go up? Wait, there's no note here. I just realized there should be a note. I don't want to go up. Not really. Okay. Uh, I guess we have to. Nowhere else for me to go. Ghost? Oh, no. What the heck was that? Postal service delivering mail. I miss the way you watch TV at night. I've always been mad at you. But now, I'd give anything to hear you watch it. To hear your footsteps when you go down to the kitchen to eat at night. And how you would snore falling asleep. I miss the feeling when you would come to bed in the middle of the night. You'd lay down and hug me so lightly. You never wanted to wake me up. But I would wake up anyway and smile. How I cherished those moments. It was always so warm and cozy. So quiet here without you. Quiet and cold. As I read these notes, my eyes start to well with tears. I also love my grandfather very much. And my grandmother. Wait, lost my appetite. I take a shower and go outside and look for grandma. If she's not back by then. Oh, we lost power? Oh no, power went out. Probably because of the rain. I'm scared of messing up electricity, so I won't try fixing it. Better look for candles. Well, I got all the candles lit. So I guess that's taken care of. Yeah, good. Lost power. Too dark. What the hey hey? Shower time. Please tell me the hot water heater is working. Hmm? I gonna monologue? Okay, that's creaking. Someone is here. Grandma? Is that you? Out the window. Find grandma. Yay! She's gonna be up in the attic. Or the guest room. Actually, she could be anywhere. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Alright. Let's go up. Grandma, I know you're here. I'm tired of waiting. Came here to see you. This is what you do is hide. Too old to be playing these games, Grandma. Let's turn off the lighter. I should be up here. Very strange. Very strange. Grandma? He's not like that big of a house. There's only a few spots she could be. Grandma? Graham, Graham, where did you go? Living room? Where's it coming from? 
Coming from up above? I'm locked in. Hmm? Grandma. Well, I ain't grandma. That's still my mission. What kind of game is she playing? Nimble old broad. Come on out. Ah, I didn't shut that. Grandma, are you here? Are you okay? Why did you close the door? Okay, I'll go make you some tea. I don't think she asked you to, but yeah, sure. Is Grandma crying? Well, let's get the tea made, I guess. Uh, I guess it's warming up. I can't really tell. Ooh. Sounds like it's perking. Perculation. gonna make that loud bristle sound, isn't it? It's done! I think. Grab something? Um, I guess not. I guess I made the tea. I don't know. Nothing telling me I did. Grandma, I think I have tea for you. Grandma, are you here? Is everything all right? I hear you crying. Get the tea now? Alright, something just worked. What happened there? It's like something has fallen down on the floor. Grandma, no! Your feeble old bones! I'm coming to help! What happened here? Grandma? Get the bed, run the closet. Grandma? Where'd the. Oh, I know. Can't live without you, my love. I'm mad at myself. Mad at everyone. Sometimes, out of anger, I start to smash everything around me. I destroy everything. Just as I destroyed our lives. You died because of me. It's all my fault. Oh, what is happening here? Oh, God. Grandma blames herself for Grandpa's death. But it's not her fault. I'm worried about Grandma. I need to find her as soon as possible and talk to her. Wait, somebody's knocking on the door? What door? This one? Oh, not that one. Okay. Front door. I hope it's the front door. Uh, You ain't grandma. How about the back door? Can I just go out the back door? This looks like stranger danger to me. I think I need an adult. I need to check if the door is closed and see if anyone is there. Locked. Yep, yep, definitely locked. Now what? You need to find the key to the main door and go outside to look for Grandma. What? 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 Why? Oh, wait, you saw a spooky red light out there with some weird figure. Yeah, and you just yeah, that Grandma. She's outside now. Yeah, sure, that's where she would be. Key. Where, where am I going to find a key? Oh, 
Are the candles getting smaller? What the frickity frack was that? Is that a note there? Maybe? You loved hiding things so much. I was very mad at you because of this. You even hid the dishes. And when the guests came, I couldn't find anything. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I fought with you over such petty things. I wish I could turn back time and laugh about it. When I was little, my grandfather liked to hide toys under my... Under the cupboards. Sometimes even under his pillow. Headboards. Pillow. Okay. Pillow. Pillow. Are they talking about a bed pillow? Probably. Yeah, these candles are getting smaller. I don't like this. Am I going to be without light? And I think that was a clue. Oh, pfft, not under. It's right on top. Okay, let's find Grandma outside. Yep. <laughs> Grandma? Eh. Hallucination. Jump scares are good. I'm liking them. Yes. Use the key. Doesn't want me to use the key. Back door. Could have told me that. <laughs> hey, you're not grandma. Are you? Knock, knock. Must be another door somewhere. Door. Hello? Door? The other door I know of is right over here. It won't let me use it. What the? Whoa! Okay, I can't get out there. Another door, huh? Where or oh, where? This other door B. Need to try to open another door. What other door? Uh oh. Yep, candle. Yep, all the candles are going out. How about this door? Here it is. They were looking for a door to get out. Oh. <laughs> what is that sound? I don't hear anything. Hmm? Eh? Eh, it was nothing. Oh, I forgot. I need a flashlight. It's too dark and rainy to go open. Oh, so took in rainy outside the house. What the hell? Where is that strange sound coming from? I don't know. I don't know where it's coming from. I also don't know where there's a flashlight. Find flashlight. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for uh, telling me I need to find a flashlight. That's something I'm not gonna. Where would I find the flashlight? Seriously. Well, something's definitely over that way, I think. Flashlight. Flashlight. No flashy lady? Attic? Yeah, that's a reasonable place to put a flashlight, I guess. Sure, let's go and check. Grandma. What it Disappearing act. Ooh, a flashlight, though. Thanks, Grandma. 
That's better. I take the raincoat and I'm ready. Raincoat? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Alright, there's no meter. I gotta make sure, you know. I don't wanna waste it. Raincoat. That should be. Oh, yes, I think I saw that at the front door. Even Grandma just keeps leaving me things. Raincoat. And I guess we're ready. Grandma! Flashlight's not coming on. There we go. Road closed. Hmm. I think Grandma went the other way. Okay, the only other way. What was that? I don't know. I don't see anything. Grandma, why am I following you out here? And we're being very reasonable. <laughs> Ooh, what was that? Hmm. Hmm? 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 Yeah, sure, let's follow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like I said, our guy's being very calm about all this, you know, strange, lanky person inside the house just keeps showing themselves in front of us and disappearing. Eh, not a problem. You know, whatever. A lot of candles there. That's nice. But what is this? This is a shed? Another house? Oh, Grandma! It's okay. Grandma, where'd you go? It's up here in Grandma. Alright. Getting a little tired of this, Grandma. You like a nun? Grim. Eh? You're a dog. Dog knows where grandma is. Alright, let's go back. Uh, I guess on the path? I don't know. I guess we want to go the... No, not that yet. Okay. Now we want to go this way. Think. Nothing's being explained to me. No, any note yet. No, any note. Okay, no, any note. Grandma's probably gonna come running out again at me. Heard something. I don't see something. So what is the story? She said that he died because of her. Construction work. I need to ask the workers if they had seen Grandma. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're doing construction right now, dude. Uh, you know, being nighttime and raining. Well, there's someone. Like a tree falling down. A note? Why would a note be here? Apples. Oh, can't actually take them. Boss, it began to rain heavily, and we decided to go to this nearest cafe to eat and wait it out. P.S. Just now, we saw a lonely grandmother here. She walked through the forest and went towards a strange totem. We asked her if we could take her home, but she did not answer. Yeah. How'd you know? Strange totem. How'd you know she was grandma? Because she's old doesn't mean she's a grandmother. Oh. 
Oh, okay. That, that <laughs> what the? Oh, God. Who was that? Nobody knows. All right. I guess it's uh, time we go that way. Maybe? I'm just going the only path I can find. Flashlight's not dying, is it? No. Still looks good. I mean, our lighter lasts forever, but those candles didn't. Is that a cat? Or a kid? Is here. Doggos in those woods. Hey, that's a totem. Why would there just be a totem out here? Who really knows? A light over there. Camping out. Yeah, that's not suspicious. No notes. Nothing for me to check on. Oh, there's a note. Here's the totem. Very strange looking totem. Legend of the Spirit of the Forest. There's an old legend saying... Oh, there's an old legend among the locals about the Spirit of the Forest, which helps people lost in the forest to find their way home. In order for the Spirit of the Forest to agree to help, you need to give him something. It is said that the Spirit of the Forest loves fresh fruit. Hmm. You know what that means? I think I saw apple somewhere. Ah, oh, God. I gotta go all the way back. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And our guy is just, like, going along with some, like, superstitious mumbo-jumbo. Yeah. Totem says it needs apples. Let's get it some. Or not even the totem. Just a note on the totem says... You know, it would help people find... But we don't need help. We know how to get home. We just go back this way. We'll get there. Oh, my God. I wish our brisk walking speed was a little bit faster now. Damn it, I did it again. I only got like four hours of sleep. Why do I keep doing this to myself? I have since daylight savings... Decided, whatever, jump forward. Ugh, it's messed me up because it's like, normally, I try to go to sleep for around like midnight, maybe 12.30. Now I can get up at 6 and get ready for work. But, I'm like, nah, not this time. You took an hour away from me. So instead of going to bed at 12, I'm actually going to bed at 11, because we jumped the hour ahead, so I lost the hour, so it's like 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock just disappears, goes from 10 to 12, and I'm like, no, I want my hour back. Because of that, I'm not tired, and I stay up a little bit past that extra hour, so now I'm going to bed at like, uh, sometimes 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning. Last night, jeez, what was it? I didn't have to go to work today. So I stayed up until like 3 in the morning, but I still had to get up at 7. Uh, lamp wasn't there. Well, now it is. Keep that flashlight out. Forest of the... Or Spirit of the Forest, I gave you an apple. You know what they say. Apple a day. Keeps the evil away. You want me to go this way, huh? Well, I guess I could. Lantern. So I, I want to know what the story is. The, like I said, the grandmother says it was her fault the husband died. So... I think... What it could be. Maybe she made a deal with a demon? Is that a path? 
Could be. Loading. Oh, jeez, that was bright. <laughs> jeez, that was more of a jump scare than the other stuff. Alright. Cinematic again. I found my grandma. She was sitting by the lake, crying and freezing, all alone. I immediately ran up to her, put my jacket on her shoulders, and said, Everything is fine. Everything will be fine, Grandma. Let's go home. Silent Nights. Huh. All right. Thank you for playing. Why, you're welcome. All right, so that was Silent Nights. Interesting. So, I don't quite understand what was going on. So, I'm thinking all the paranormal stuff wasn't really happening. Because uh, you would think at the end something would have happened, right? I mean, but, I mean, our character also never acknowledged, really, the tall weird demon or the ghost whatever it was uh thing came flying at us once or twice uh we saw it in that cabin but yet we did acknowledge it was there thinking it was our grandma when she was sitting in the chair so i don't really know but like i said our character never said anything when it disappeared so i'm thinking there was no paranormal activity going on. Nothing like that. It was just a sad story of... She lost her husband and she's sad. That was it. That wasn't too bad of an ending. I mean... A little bit of a downer. Grandma's sad. But, you know, we're there to help now. So everything is good. And on that note, you'll have yourselves a good one. And I will see you later.